welcome back. <laughs> hey, hey guys, it's Indley again, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm here with my mum, and what did we do today? We went to Japan. We did. If you guys want to see that vlog, make sure to click the link in the description box, or you can click all right here. Oh, look at my fancy annotations. Go and click. It's gonna disappear. Quick, it's gonna disappear. Oh, it's gone. So we went to Japan and we got some new foods that we've never tried before. So in this video, we are going to give them a try. I'm should, hungry. Should we get started? Yes. Okay. All right, so I think we should start off with these potato waffles. I have no idea what these are going to taste like. I mean, the packaging's pretty cool, so mm. hopefully the food's pretty cool. Never had Japanese food before until today. And you guys have been suggesting um, me to try different foods from different countries, so here we go. Oh, they're like little packets. I guess we should have a packet each. You can take one to school. Yeah. I don't know how many there is in there, Angelie. There's four left. There might be two in a packet. There's two in a packet, yeah. No, I'll just... Okay. Oh, you get a broken one. That's okay. Oh no, it's not broken. Wait, are these actually potatoes? They're not wafers for like ice cream. No, they're potatoes. They're potato. They look like ice cream wafers. Mm. So they're not really a chip, are they? Mm. But you don't eat it out of a packet. I feel like they're a chip for dip. They're good though. They're good. I like them. But I feel like you should have them with something. I feel like that would make flavour a lot, lot better. But I like those. Mm. Rating out of five? Four. Yeah, I'd give a four. I'd give a five if there was dip involved. Yeah. Okay, so we've just got some salt. I feel like this is going to taste a lot better. Especially when you got those, oh, that's way too much. Especially when you got those wafer sort of things to put in it. Do you want to split it or? Sure, you can have some and I'll have some. Mmm. Mmm. Now that is a five out of five. Mmm. Those are so good. Mm. Oh my god. See? That's my new says a pinch of salt. That mean, do you know that mean? You know that? Yeah. Okay, next are these Japanese chocolate chip cookies. I mean, I'm expecting them to taste the same, but I mean, look at that. It looks melty and delicious. So we picked up some of those. Can I have a look at the packet? How do you read that? I can't. So here is the packaging. So far, it's really nice. Like, I mean, my Japanese people, you love your packaging. Mmm. Very soft. Oh, yum, they're good. Mm. Oh my gosh, they're those types of like chocolate chip cookies when you bite into them they're melty mm. although they would be really good with ice cream like dipped dipped into that vanilla ice cream that we ate oh that would be a 10 out of 10. i would give them probably a 4.5 out of 5 only because they're a little bit powdery um but yeah, yeah they've got rice flour in them so they blend yeah out. but yeah really good. Mm, they're good next we have these honey butter chips I'm excited to try them. Um, the lady recommended these. They were $6, which is quite expensive, but... Maybe she just wanted to sell them. They were originally $10 a packet. $10. We've got them for 6 So let's try these and see if they're really worth $10. Yep. All right. So they're like thin little crispy chips. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I really like those. You don't like them? It tastes like honey butter popcorn. I love butter, it. Butter popcorn. If you don't want it, I'll have this whole bag to myself. I really like that. It tastes like honey butter popcorn and sour cream and chives mixed together. Yeah. Sour cream and chives sprinkles. I like the feel of it on my tongue. Like I like the taste of it. Like when it first goes in your mouth and then you get that honey and then you get that sour cream and chives and the aftertaste is a little bit like tangy and vinegary. Well, what would you give it out of five? Um, I wouldn't buy them again. But what would you give it out of five? 
zero. Oh. I'll give this five out of five. Mate, this is the best thing I've tried so far. The next thing we have to try is Pocky. Now, this is something that is very popular in Japan, I think. I don't know. But I've just heard a lot about it. I mean, there's this cool anime guy here. And this says love with Pocky. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But, you know. It's got profile. He seems like a pretty cool dude. So, let's try some. It was $3.20 for this packet. But, obviously, it's very popular. Man, this packaging is great. Oh, did you see that? That was so smooth. More packaging inside. Packaging. More packaging. Okay, so it looks like there's two... <laughs> Listen to this noise. <laughs> that made me cringe. <laughs> okay, so let's open this up. Oh, that's a lot of chocolate. I love it already. Oh, cool. oh they're all stuck together. Remind me of the old cigarettes, look. <laughs> the new e-cigarette. <laughs> um, so, they're stuck together. Mm. We have to eat the whole lot then, from the end. <laughs> oh, that's dark chocolate. Oh, that's a big hit. Well, you can't get them apart. Yeah. Can I have this? Yeah. It's very dark chocolatey. Mm. Not sure whether there was dark and milk. It just says chocolate. But that looks like dark chocolate on there. I like them. I would like them if they came in white chocolate and milk chocolate. I think they do. They probably do. Yep. Um, but yeah. What would you rate them out of 10? Well, the pretzels are really fresh. Mm. Crispy. And the chocolate's pretty good. It's dark chocolate. I'd have to give them a 5 out of 5. I would say only because it's dark chocolate and I'm not as much a fan. I'd say 3.5 out of 5. Only because it's dark chocolate. But I'm sure it comes in many other flavours. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to give it. I could eat that whole bunch. Mm. Do it. 11 pretzels. I can imagine eating this in a mental breakdown, so <laughs> solid four. And finally, I thought we would finish off with this gum, I think it is. It is smoothie, banana, and strawberry flavoured gum. I don't really know. I just thought this would strawberry? be interesting. Banana strawberry smoothie, I think. It's got banana and strawberry and it says smoothie, so I assume so. I'm just going to open it up. Oh, they love their packaging again. It smells like bubble gum. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah, they've got three different colours. Oh. Mine got a bit, a bit de-manufactured, but... Yeah, so mine's the same, white on one uh, side. But it looks good. Let's try it. Mmm. I like that. It's not a chewy, though. Is it not? No. It's just candy. Mmm. Can I blow bubble with it? No, you might be able to. Yeah. I wish it was bubble gum though. <clears throat> it's very sweet. Mm. And I could definitely taste the different flavours. It's really good. So what do you think of the gum? Well, <clears throat> I've got a few allergies and it's not making me feel good. However, if I didn't have allergies and I just had to rate that gum, I wouldn't all that candy, I'd, I'd say five. Yeah, I would definitely say five out of five. That was the best. That's the best, like, chewy thing I've ever had. So what was your favourite out of everything, Angelie? My favourite, definitely, these honey butter chips. But yeah, these chips are the bomb. I just love them. Mum doesn't like them. She gave them the zero, but I don't care. I don't like artificial flavours and stuff. They don't make me feel good. I just think this is interesting, you know? <laughs> My favourite with these with a bit of salt on it. Mm. What should they do if they like my, my videos? Oh, give it a thumbs up. No. Oh. Subscribe? Yeah. <laughs> and how do they know when my videos are going to come out? You don't. They're random. 
Oh, you have to turn on your notifications. Yeah, turn on your notification bell. And what should they follow me on to get more updates about my life? Indalee's tube. On what? Everything. But, oh, everything. On Twitter, on Instagram, <laughs> and on YouTube. Snapchat. Oh, and Snapchat. And you should all follow Mum on Snapchat. You won't find me on Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> Snapchat's cool. I like Snapchat. You just say the randomest things at the randomest time. It's funny. It makes you look younger. With flawless skin. And if you would like to see, you know, me trying more food, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed this. Hmm. Leave a comment down below what sort of, you know, food you want us to try. Maybe I'll be getting our hands on it. And what else should they do? Send us some food. No. <laughs> oh, Mum, can I show you this? Oh, I learnt this in Japan on a Boro show that someone gave me that she was talking while you walked away. You have to get in the camera, though. I have one of these. So, yeah. listen, you have to get in the camera. Yeah. And it's like a little tradition. When you have, like, crisp or something, mm. what you do is you just crush it in someone's head. Oh, no! Don't wait! No! I'm going to take my bras and I'll, yeah, I can itch. <laughs> yeah, we'll come down. No, 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 no! <laughs> You know that part, that's it. <laughs> no, no, not that thing with the stuff. <laughs> oh, after the shower. It's all gone. Here we go, vacuum <gasps> up. Yeah, 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 yeah